Hey guys, um, thank you very much. Um, this is another edition of the Counter Press here on YouTube. Um, it's Fifi Man Fred, the channel on YouTube. The channel name is Fifi Man Fred, the show name is the Counter Press. Again, thank you very much for choosing us. Thank you very much for subscribing. Um, the growth um, is amazing and it's mind boggling. And I want to say thank you to everybody that has chosen, that has said, um, that has contributed in any shape or form to this. But please do all to subscribe. Um, do all to subscribe to the channel. Uh, do what subscribe to the channel it's very important i think um, a couple of people tend to forget do what subscribe please and turn on the notification bell so once the video drops every point in time you can have it to watch uh, my name again is fifi manfred i'm grateful for your time but today there is exciting news and i think that moist kaisedo to chelsea is eminent and here is why um, i'll run you through everything that i think that are the signs that are leading to the fact that moist kaisedo is close to joining chelsea football club um, Mauricio Pochettino, since he took over from Chelsea Football Club, has been very vocal and unequivocal about um, exactly what he wants. And in midfield, he has said it clearly, verbatim, that he wants an experienced midfielder. And in an experienced midfielder, he means somebody that's played at the highest level before. Um, it doesn't matter the age, but somebody that's seen it at the top in a winning team as well. And Chelsea has been linked to Moise Caicedo since January. Um, it's, 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 it's no news over there. Again, before Frank James Lampard left Chelsea, one of the things that he proposed to the new owners was that he wanted them to get um, a midfielder, a proper defensive midfielder that can sit in front of them. Not only is Moise Kaiser a defensive midfielder, but also a very good ball carrier and a CM, somebody that can play as an attacking number eight um, on the right hand side. So it's 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 a it's a player and a topic that is a little bit dicey, that's a little bit controversial, especially to the Chelsea fan folk and. It's important where Chelsea have gotten to. Mind you, for purposes of contest, Chelsea have bidded about three times before um, 60 million, 75 million, 60 million, 70 million, and 75 million. And as it stands now, Tony Bloom and Brighton have always turned those bids down because they say that the evaluation of the player is somewhere in the region of um, what Arsenal bought the clan rise from West Ham United for somewhere around 100, 105 million, 110 million thereabouts. And they think that that's the proper evaluation of the club. Now, again, also by way of contest i say when somebody says why are brighton outsprising chelsea why do they want x amount of money the player doesn't merit it it is not for you to say it's not for me to say and because it's it's actually a seller's market now again if you look at the kind of job that brighton and hove Albion have been doing in terms of scouting players via the data that is only known to tony bloom um, not even a scouting team know about and, and i hear that it's in the form of um, a traffic light um, if the player is good to go for it is green um, if it is amber, then it means that it's in between. And if it's red, then it means that it's a player that you don't want to go to. Now, they go, this country, the whole world, not just in Europe, um, they've gone to South America, and that's where Moses Kaiser is coming from. Africa, the right to dream academy is one of the ones in Ghana where they've picked players from. Recently, has been a Dinga. Um, the Ivorian international host with their team now, and CISO, and all of these top top talents that a lot of the big teams will avert their risk on. They will say, okay, you know what, this boy is too young, we can't take the risks on them, so we'll wait till they blow some. Then Brighton says, you know what, fine, I will take these players, I will groom them, I will get them to become top stars, and you pay top dollar for them. Mind you, for Moise Caicedo coming to Brighton was not even up to 10 million euros. Now he... Tony Bloom wants 100 million pounds and in excess of that. And that tells you um, how much of a job he has done into these players and how he believes that the work he has done into these players, there's a need for him to get a result for them. Again, by way of contest, do not forget that Tony Bloom is a betting professional. He's a professional better. He bets and hence it means that risk taking is part of his day-to-day -day activity. He takes risks and he knows that these are going to be the possible results for him. He took a risk of Moscow, I said, from Santa de la Ville in Ecuador. Now he has come to England and he's shining after going on loan away in, in Belgium. And, and there he is again. So he knows that he can get a job and that's what he has done. So if you're a Chelsea fan, you can't be saying why is it that Brighton wants too much money from Chelsea Football Club? But because that's not for you to say. Now, the purpose of this video actually is why I think that Moise Caicedo is slowly getting close to Chelsea. So in our three days um, ago, there was a report from The Athletic. Um, where Brighton's correspondent or the, the Athletic uh, did mention that there was an unforeseen club, um, a club that wanted to remain confidential, had bidded for Moises Caicedo. I mean, it was so confidential in that report that even the agent of Moises Caicedo did not know. And that means that they are not discussed personal terms with him. 
there were lots of conflicting thoughts outside in social media, especially on Twitter, where people thought, okay, fine. Maybe then um, the team may be from Saudi Arabia. Somebody says, okay, um, Liverpool had gone to Romeo Lavia. They've not been able to get a deal done with Southampton. Suggest so maybe they will go and get Romeo Lavia to come in um, to, to Liverpool. But you see, all of these things is ways at which Tony Broom is trying to get Todd Bolly back into the negotiation table. Um, Tony... Todd Bowley has spoken to a few fans while they were out in Chicago and they told him that it's, it's a tough deal, but he'll get it done. Now, Chelsea are preparing their last and final bid and um, most of the journalists that are close to Moise Kaiser in his home Ecuador have said that they know from the Ecuadorian camp and the, um, the Ecuadorian camp that um, Chelsea are going to send a final bid and that's going to be a ticket to leave it bid. Chelsea wants that player and they want him. They'll go one last time for him and this time they want to get it done. But before Chelsea went in for him, they are starting to look for um, other options because it is simple if Chelsea go to Moise Caicedo to Brighton and they ask for Moise Caicedo and they pay the 100 million that Brighton are asking for if they are going for backup players say if those backups were 5 million and their respective clubs will will be forced to bloat the sum will be, be forced to um, say okay fine we're able to pay 100 million for Moise Caicedo we also think that this is 15 million this is 20 million instead of 5 million so Chelsea are trying to get the backup options now so that once they go to Moise Kaiser and get it done, they don't have to go back into the market. It's going to be the last job that Chelsea will do. Again, what Tony Bloom and Brighton did in that regard in leaking that information to the Athletic was just to try and force Todd Bolly's hand into the negotiation table again. In the next morning, there was also reports in the BBC that um, Tony Bloom and Brighton are saying again that when the season is over, um, when the transfer window is over and, and, and before it's over and the, and the Premier League starts and <clears throat> Moise Kaiser is still in the club, <coughs> They are not going to sell him and they expect that he's going to be there. <coughs> Sorry. It's also another tactic that um, he's, uh, he's employing to make sure that at the end of the day, Moses Kaiseido still says at Brighton and Hove. And for me, the final thing, Chelsea had wanted an interior and um, my Ghanaian brother, Mohamed Kudus, was part of it. Michael Olisi, a French, and then Ryan Cech, he also a French. Now, Chelsea had drawn that list down between Kudus and Michael Olisi. The issue with Michael Olisi, he had a muscle injury while he went for the French under 23 tournament. Now, while he went for that tournament, Chelsea were asking for further conversations about his injury just so they can make a decision. Just before Chelsea gets that done, um, Brighton have quickly contacted Ajax and have a deal with them in principle for Mohamed Kudus. Now, the issue, however, is they have to discuss personal terms with Mohamed Kudus. Before, we had heard already in the media that Chelsea were very close in terms of personal terms with Mohamed Kudus. I have had some discussions for some people close to Kudus's camp, and they believe that Kudus wants the Brighton deal. It's a wonderful stuff for Mohamed Kudus to go to Brighton and Hove Albion. But really, it's an indicator to tell Chelsea that they have to tell um, everybody that Brighton know that Chelsea are coming back for it. And once that money is paid to them, they go straight to Ayas and get a Mohamed Kudus deal done. So every sign is on the wall now. I'm sure by the close of and by the time Chelsea plays its first game um, against Liverpool, Moise Caicedo is going to be a blue after De Sassi, Robert Sanchez, um, Leslie Ogochuku, and all the other players that have been in the squad. Moise Caicedo is imminent to Chelsea. And here's why. Uh, thank you very much. It's another beautiful session on the counter pressing me, Fifi Manfred. I am grateful for your time. But please do well to like, subscribe, and share. I'm very, very particular about turning on the notification button and then subscribing. Very important. Thank you very much once again. I will see you. Um, before that, take care of yourself. Have a wonderful time. Bye.